uh, privilege to be here and I thankful Ms. Prabina ma'am who has called me as a speaker here. Today's, uh, as she already mentioned, the topic is education system. I know we all are sitting at home enjoying our holidays right now, but let's uh, just talk about it and throw a light. What is education and how the system works? As we are living in India, we all, uh, I will be talking about the most probably of the education system of India and compare it with the, all the foreign countries. Let's start. First, I will give you the introduction. Education is the process of learning or getting of knowledge, skills, values, and habits of essential needs of life. As you know, education is very important nowadays, like we need food shelter. So education is also an immense part of our life. Education system is different from one and another country, not all the countries are following common education system. As you know, uh, every country is having uh, different types of education system. As we are living in India, we, uh, we are opting our system. In India also, there are various schools, state board, CBSC, IB board, ICSC. So each of us, each of them are following their own education system. First, we understand what is education system, then we will come to the contents of our history of education system in India, types of education system uh, which are followed in India, advantages of Indian education system, disadvantage or drawbacks of Indian education system, India versus foreign education system, India to do the improving their education system and perception by the educators. And we uh, lastly, we come to the conclusion and we conclude this. Part. So what is education system? Education it is a process of learning or getting knowledge, skills, values, and habits of essential uh, needs of life, as I have already mentioned before. The system of giving education is education system. The education which we are getting through which system, that is known as system. So we call it as education system. Education system differ from one and uh, country to another country and follows their own common education system. And to, uh, let's start with the history of India. Now in the history of India, in the history of uh, education in India, earlier education system is commenced under the supervision of gurus. There is no special class rooms or laboratories are there in older days. The house of gurus are placed to learn and it is called Veda Nilayam. In, in the earlier days, as we know, there is no system of school. There is only a guru and uh, they themselves uh, select their students, disciples, and whom they want to educate. There is no fee or any such, such kinds of prizes given to the gurus. Instead of that, a lifelong benefit will be provided by the student to his guru. Like a barter system, that there is no money uh, system and no fees for the gurus and uh, in the return the, uh, of uh, when they give the education to the student to their disciples they just want some services from the uh, their students now what are the advantages of education system that come to that by comparing with other countries only in india every student has a basic knowledge about all subjects as compared to all other countries, India is only the country which is providing and giving all uh, knowledge of all the subjects from the school in itself. Only school in India follow the regular attendance method so that the students will gain basic knowledge about their daily habitation and life needs. Why they are following this? Because they want the students to aware about the Attendance system and basic knowledge, how you can be in a disciplined, with a disciplined way, you can uh, opt the education. Students go through many exams in their learning years. It, te it teaches them to, uh, to analyze their own strength and weakness consistently. Means that by giving the exams, students understand what are, uh, what are they gaining and for what they have to work for means uh, in which uh, uh, area they are not uh, appropriate or not up to the mark so they have to work for it so the exam system is like that now what are their drawbacks drawbacks are uh, there 
in India, up to 65% uh, of students uh, were used to memorize the content in the books and used to write the same words in the exam. Means whatever the content is given to them, they just learn that content and they just write the exam what they have learned. Only 18% of students were used to understand the concept of subject and can able to answer in their own words. Means if they understand, they, uh, they uh, in India, what, what, uh, what are the drawbacks they are giving? They are just in a, a chalk and talk system is there. The teacher is giving the lectures, giving the notes to the students. They are just writing and just learning without knowing what is there. Only some of the students, the, the graph is given of 18%, they are aware of what they are doing and they can able to understand and write their answers and, in their own words. The syllabus is in the monthly form of the theoretical basic. There is only few subjects contain practical content, means or, or most of the subjects have their, in the written form only, the students have to only learn, and then they have to just write what is the content without knowing what they are doing. And in some, especially in, you can say, uh, in science part or any, any some subjects which uh, much needed of the, uh, content to be in a practical form, only they, they are used to of going in a practical classes. So learning primary is likewise, pra uh, lectures are given to them, they just read the lectures and they're just able to write down. Now there are some pa pa parameters and parameters given to us, uh, what the system do. Lectures is only, only of 5%. Reading is of 10%, then audio visualize of 20%, demonstration 30%, group discussion 50%, and practice by doing 70%. This is the pyramid which are, we are following nowadays. Now, as we compare the education system of India, the, the levels are very, very different. As I come to India, first we start with the primary education, then upper primary education, then we come to the secondary education, uh, as we compare to another countries, uh, I uh, say about, uh, let me select of USA, they have elementary schools. In elementary school, after elementary school, they have the middle schools. After the mi middle school, they have junior and the senior school. So they, uh, every country, as I mentioned before, follow their own education system. In now in India also, we are having different kinds of boards and each board is having their own system of following the education of following uh, taking the assessment in their own uh, with their own system type now uh, i want to put a uh, go go to what are the perception of, of a teacher about what she thinks while, while teaching now she uh, go to the class she just un understand what is happening before in hand she takes the things with us with her uh, or him Teaching approach and method, how she can teach and what is the method of teaching. The school and uh, circular support, what is the curriculum given to her by the school and how she can support and how can uh, she put on her own. Sense of efficiency, how she can uh, make student or make the people understand what is the content is all about. Value of teaching thinking, then how she can value what she is teaching. So this is the perception, perception, sorry, perception of a teacher. So that how she is planning and what, how uh, before going to the class, what she can do. So now let's come to the conclusion of it. Now of today's topic. Nowadays, lots of positive degrees are happening in education system of India. As you all know, Nipun Bharat has uh, have started in 2020, and in that. Uh, most of the uh, government schools and government employees are involved in that. And uh, myself, I am also associated with Nipul Bharat. And in uh, last January, I have, uh, as a resource person of MP, I have worked with the uh, several government teachers and taught them because I'm an uh, English uh, teacher. So I have uh, tell them styles of teaching of English before the chalk and talk and the same procedure is there uh, that we have to do first we look on the board look on the books and then we the now the system is totally changed first we everything is on the 
practical basis and activity basis so same wise it is so uh, while talking it is so small when i am talking about it it is so small but when we come to it i understand it is so vast so vast to change uh, uh, bring a change in a system while uh, coming to this system i understand by coming with associated with the nipun bharat i understand that how it is difficult for the teachers also so to uh, implement themselves to implement new type of education there is, there is a definite need of revolutionary changes in the indian education system as i have already discussed is what is the education system of india previously the gurus and after the guru school has so started but still 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 in india it is needed to be changed and it is changing also with the effective learning system india can successfully utilize to the vast human resource and by that the dream of the youngsters hero dr apj abdul kalam dream of india 2020 will be get success that is all i want to talk about and if anybody wants to ask me any question now you are welcome to ask me thank you ma'am thank you all of you for listening me and for a, uh, such a wonderful audience yes ma'am um there are a couple of questions uh, lined up uh, around seven questions and yes, i'll uh, uh, read out to you one by one so okay, the first question is what are the key obstacles facing the modern education system today the key obstacles ma'am as you know nowadays the uh, as a teacher i am telling you that there are very very less sources given to the uh teachers as well as students that we are not having we are we know what we have to do but the main obstacle is that the sources we are not having the there are lack of sources so i think if the sources are in appropriate uh, uh may, uh manner then we can definitely go with we are not having the pro proper sources and how can we do platform is not uh, with us or uh, you know and nowadays one obstacle is also there that uh, if we are working with any uh, system then we have to be with that their system only if we want change there there should uh, we have to be very firm and we need a uh, support of others also so basically innovation is not encouraged is what you are saying right you cannot yes yes yes, yes 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 right so which is the best part of the education system in india today the best part of indian education system is that that students are nowadays uh, it is of the uh, you know child centered before it is of teacher center now it is of child centered so we are giving focusing on the child education understanding their uh, mindset and then coming with the new types of you know uh, courses uh, which are now nowadays most of them available in schools only okay so since you said the, the education uh, uh, system is now child centered what kind of characteristics a good teacher should have ma'am good teacher should be uh, first of all she should understand the mindset of child and how we care because we know that we are knowing everything but uh, whether the child is getting or not so first of all she has to be very much understanding before coming to class and she ha have to understand it in a class also there are not uh, you know uh same type of students are there some are very brilliant some are you know average students and some are below average you can say right now right now it is not a good word to say them below average but i'm telling you they are taking but they understand but it take time to uh, make them understand so first of all we have to understand the uh, child psychology then only we can teach them so when you say that there are different ways to deal with uh, different uh, kind of children so how do you deal with the slow learners ma'am can you uh, uh, what practices do you uh, uh, implement how do you involve them in the uh, education in your classroom ma'am if uh, for the slow learners i took uh, i make uh, groups and i uh, make them to uh, specially sit with the student which is uh, which is uh, you know uh, which is brilliant and uh, he understand he or she understand better and uh, in a quick way then i do a uh, in activity form i make him understand you know uh, now now there's live example and live 
if we give live example to the students and if we connect with them they are most probably understanding and it is working also now okay do you feel that the current way we are educating children fully prepares them for the needs of the 21st century yes ma'am i think because you know i have also associated nowadays nowadays i am thinking that yes it is we are doing we are doing but i am not saying we are uh, fully uh, doing the you know uh, giving the best of it but we are doing we are trying and it is we are achieving also as i have already worked with mukund bharat and i am also an educator i am working the students primary grades and middle class so i understand their needs and we are doing and students also get, uh, getting it but this system is also needed but if the plat platform and resources are given to the teacher or given to any educator and if he really wants he if he lo loves uh, to be you know teacher that like my uh, i am talking about myself i don't know but i think most of the uh, uh, teachers who come uh, with their own choice in this uh, field they uh, give their 100% to the uh, their job ma'am Uh, because we are lovers of it, and I think we are doing. We are doing that. So, what do you feel the most exciting or effective learning environment would be? How should the environment be? Ma'am, if happy environment is there, if the uh, you know uh, uh, connection with the students, if we are connected with the students, and uh, uh, if he or she understands. what we are saying and if if you know that this teacher now now this the i give you an example of it this now this is my english period and i am going to understand if she, the there is there should be a connection with the student and i think if, if there is a, there is a connectivity with the students they are definitely going to understand and listen you uh, with a uh, with a good listener and for teachers also i think if we are we have to if the student Uh, must be a good good listener the teacher should be also be a good listener i uh, because uh, what i think if we are good listener we are good learner uh, and what i if i want to uh, want my child to understand what i want him or her to be then i also understand what he or we what is his psychology what he is thinking so i think the understanding uh, is uh, very important i i agree with that ma'am So, do you think standardized testing is the most effective way to judge learning? I mean, some cases, some cases, some. Uh, uh, I think not fully. I am not uh, uh, agree with this. But is uh, I think in uh, some or how. But uh, we can't judge the child because you know, uh, uh, it may be. It like us also. Some day it is good day. Some day it is not good day. So I don't think so. I am not completely agree with. But in some, uh, I understand somehow I can say that. Not not this. Yeah, I I don't think like it works uh, for everything, right? Like standard. No 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 ma'am. No ma'am. That's that is the reason. Fifty fifty. You can say it is not <laughs> yes. working. Yes yes. Right. So, what role do you think government should play in education, ma'am? Man, government should give uh, first of all uh, proper resources to the teachers. They have and uh, when they are finalizing or they when they are selecting the teacher or educator, if he or sh uh, she should know each and everything uh, with what system the uh, is he or she is working with. and uh, he should well uh, uh, knowledgeable about all the things and uh, have uh, to understand what are the situation and what are the circumstances government should give the teachers that responsibility as well as they have to give them their rights to work with that then only uh, i think uh, you know uh, progress will be there so uh, resources and uh, also uh, it should be you know not stubborn it should be you know not changing form if anybody if the anybody wants to change anything for the good uh, for their good will then they they it should be implemented ma'am last uh, question ma'am but not the least uh, it's very important what was your favorite moment or experience in your own education as a student ma'am as a student you uh, i always you know uh, 
I am very shy student. I am not very outspoken, but as uh, now I am in a profession of teaching, I'm, uh, I have I talk so much, but uh, uh, I have very good connectivity with my teachers now also. When I go to my school, I have, I'm Joseph Pai High School, uh, my school in the sense of poet. But, but you know, when I heard about, uh, when I listened that anybody is talking about my school also, so I was very, and my uh, my uh, school days are very, very, very good, ma'am. And I have connectivity with my all the teachers. Not I can I can't say that one teacher is my favorite because you know I have very good connection with all my teachers now. Also, my my own two uh, children are studying in the same school, and that connectivity that because of that connectivity and because of that you know love what they have given to me. That is the reason I. Uh, admit my student, uh, my kids, or uh, my I have two kids, and I uh, admit them to that school. And the best experience is there when I, uh, because, you know, I was I I was in seventh standard, and I I used to play basketball. And uh, in seventh student, they uh, seventh class student, uh, being a uh, seventh class student, they make me the captain of the uh, junior school uh, captain. But, but uh, you know, I'm the younger one the more they have to make from the uh, captain from the eight class students but because i love uh, to play basketball while watching my pas uh, passion towards it they just make me the captain so it was a very you know unforgettable moment for me because i didn't uh, thought of becoming a captain in the school in a uh, uh, you know in a seventh class only because you know, they don't make a so small student the captain of the school. So it was very uh, highly privileged for me to be there. So that's very nice to know. So you got your best of uh, it uh, through your teachers itself. Yes, yes, yes. As a student. Thanks a lot. It was a very good session, ma'am. Uh, we end the question and answer round now. School Journal of Thank Education so and uh, schoolreformer.com. Thank you for the talk and for patiently answering all the questions. We also thank the audience for participating in the event. We will end the session now, ma'am. Thanks again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice one.